Greetings, fellow adventurers. This is Vexus, and after a bit of a long summer break, I am finally back. Um, it's very good to be back in the LP chair again. And uh, looking at my channel, it seems that not only have most of you appeared to have stayed with me over the summer, despite the lack of updates, um, I have actually added about... 30% of what I originally had to my subscriber numbers. Um, so I'd like to thank viewers both uh, old and new for your vote of confidence. Um, and it's good to know that you are still enjoying the uh, Let's Plays I've posted so far. But the fall is here, which means that it's time to do another video game. I'd like to uh, give thanks to the people who placed votes in the uh, previous, the end of the previous Let's Play I did on Broken Sword as to which of the two choices I gave you you wanted to see, or at least see first. And uh, the winner was The Dig. So we will be doing a Let's Play of The Dig now, and I'm planning for now to follow that up with the Dragon Age Awakening LP. Um, some of that will depend on the amount of time that I have, and that's because uh, the Dragon Age LPs take a lot more uh, editing time than many of these uh, adventure games do. Because, um, as you saw before with the Dragon Age Origins Let's Play, I like to craft it so that it feels a little bit more uh, fluid in story instead of just lots of uh, footage of me running around slaying monsters. So, because of that, um, I can't guarantee that I'll do Dragon Age next, but I will try. Um, if nothing else, uh, if I make, if I can make it to the Christmas holidays, then that should give me enough time to uh, to uh, make some solid progress on uh, Dragon Age. But in the meantime, uh, the dig is pretty straightforward to do. So it's a nice, kind of, uh, smooth way to transition back into doing some more Let's Plays for you guys. Um, and, uh, definitely no complaints on doing The Dig. Um, it's one of my favorite, uh, adventure games, and actually is probably my current favorite sci-fi adventure game. Um, as you, uh, as uh, some of my subscribers will know, The Longest Journey is what I consider to be my absolute favorite adventure game, um, and that has some sci-fi elements in it, um, but primarily it feels like a uh, fantasy game. Um, whereas uh, this adventure game is clearly uh, science fiction to the core. Um, and, it's the kind, and it's the kind of science fiction that I actually prefer, where the focus is less on um, interstellar combat uh, and kind of action elements, and is more focused on just the wonder of space travel and the beauty of what could be alien worlds and alien civilizations, that kind of thing. Um, and this game was introduced to me by my mother, actually. And uh, she was probably primarily responsible for uh, gauging my interest in adventure games from a young age. Uh, and I owe a lot to the kinds of computer games that she was interested in trying out. Um, I owe her that in introducing me to the genre and getting, giving me a chance to play uh, what I still consider some of the best games in the genre uh, up to this point. So, um, as I normally do with these videos. This is just the introduction, and uh, we'll get into the thick of things in the next video. We'll start with the opening uh, cutscene. Uh, also, just uh, I figured I'd give you guys a quick update as to what happened in the summer, um, and why I took uh, a longer break than usual this time. And it's basically just because mostly everything about my life changed over the summer, and uh, I'm happy to report changed for the better. Uh, I remember I had reported to you guys earlier that I had um, 
was working on finishing up my PhD. I think that was at least a year ago, if not more. And like most of these things, it always takes longer than you'd like to think. So, um, but if eventually these things do get finished, and uh, so at the beginning of the summer, I finally did finish my PhD, got it turned in, um, moved to a new location, got my first full-time job, um, which I'm enjoying, and um, yeah, pretty much starting out my third decade of life uh, with kind of a reboot as far as where I am and what I'm doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, for the better, and uh, I definitely did put all that time that I had to take on, uh, take a break from Let's Plays to good use. Um, so, I'm, once again, I'd like to thank you all for sticking with it, um, and hopefully over the coming uh, fall and uh, spring seasons, I can bring you some more interesting video games, and hopefully some also some interesting commentary uh, as well. So, I think that concludes this introduction video, and we'll get on with the dig in the next video.